All right, how to uh, turn this 3D model into something like this in the real world. So using Blender and uh, Prusa 3D printer Mark 3S. So uh, uh, I call it a, a, dra a dragon scaled egg cup. <laughs> uh, step one, obviously you need to know the, the diameter of, uh, of an egg, just to get a rough idea, 43 millimeters it is. So we need to make sure that the interior of the egg cup is less than 43 millimeters. So there's a couple ways to do that. One is, uh, well, first of all, in your units, make sure that the, the, the default setting is set to meters. You can change it to millimeters, which will make the dimensions uh, 80, you can see there, so in the dimensions it's 84 millimeters in the X, Y, Z, and then if you export that file over to uh, to the Prusa, um, it will be 84 millimeters. Um, so the scale is uh, set to, to 42 there, but that's that's obviously the X and the Y times two because it's the well, it's the center of the model that's being multiplied basically so if you uh, change it over to 21 uh, units that would be 42 millimeters pretty straightforward so if you um, go back into blender and hit n on your on the keyboard or open it up via the tool menu you can see where the um, properties are for 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 measurements so this bezier curve circle that I've added here um, I'm going to use that as a, a gauge to, to, to figure out how big I want this cup holder to be. So it's set at 42 meters, which is the default settings in, in Blender, and uh, that is effectively the same thing as 42 millimeters in the Prusa world. So I added a couple of subdivisions, so I scaled it up. So now I'm going to duplicate the curve. Uh, this will be the inner curve. Which is the inner wall, if you like, of the um, 3D object of the cup, and then there's an outer ring here, which I'm just setting to 44 millimeters. Just to just it's just a visual guide, basically. I just I know that the inside I I want to be about 42, less than 42 millimeters, slightly less than 42 millimeters, and I need to know that the width of the, of the um, egg cup holder it's going to be wide enough for uh, the 3d printer to be able to print it so now I'm just scaling grabbing the vertices um, I'm using a pie menu here by the way which is uh, enabled in the preferences if you go to file preferences there's a, if you have a look around in there um, there's a, a pie menu that you can enable it's a bit like Maya um, where you can hold tab and then drag your mouse over to um, select edit mode, object mode, and rendering mode and whatnot. It's, it's uh, quite nice and handy. Then I'm I'm using the subdiv methods uh, workflow to um, just extrude down into the shape to create that hollowed out section. Um, and it may look like it's it's the walls are interceding, but they, they are not. <laughs> you can go into wireframe mode and, and have a look. And to make sure that everything is is not interceding, you know the the tolerances on the three D printer are um, you know point point five point one point one five and point zero five so of a millimeter. So you've got a fair bit to play with, but um, I mean you probably want a good I don't know five mil uh, of wall width. So saving the file because I'm about to uh, apply the subdiv and I want I always tend to save in increments so version 1, version 2, version 3, version 4 because you never know you might want to go back and uh, change things and unfortunately the multi-res modifier doesn't work in conjunction with the subdiv one all that well. Um, so yeah apply the multi-res um, Subdivide it um, once or twice, and then we can start sculpting 
the dragon scales on the top of the um, of the model. So obviously I don't want it to go below the surface. Uh, that is something that I think it might end up having. I did consider it. I thought it'd be quite cool for the for it to rest on like a tripod or something. But I figured that would be a bit more tricky to make sure that it it remained flat on the surf on the work surface as when you placed it down. So I just decided to go with the dragon scales instead. Here I'm enabling X and Y uh, modifiers so that you can sculpt in uh, two dimensions at the same time, basically, which is uh, pretty neat. Just adding in some more scales in here, uh, uh, and um, yeah, so um, ZBrush has this really nice uh, uh, array sculpting feature, uh, multi-res modifier. Um, if anyone knows how to do that in Blender, I'd love to love to know that because it's it's pretty it's a pretty handy little tool. Um, you can choose as many um, points around a particular axis that you want to, to, to draw sculpt uh, to strokes on and it's really nice so yeah I mean if, if anyone knows how to do it in Blender I would uh, love to hear it drop drop a comment and uh, tell me how you do it um, so here I'm just smoothing out the scales a little bit uh, this whole time I'm thinking about how this is going to print you know I'm going to turn this cup upside down so that the the top rests on the on the print bread, print bed, and I'm thinking about how the the printer's going to have to move through 3D space to lay down layers of um, plastic. Um, so yeah, I'm smoothing off, smoothing it off so that the uh, the uh, tips aren't too sharp. Uh, export selection. Make sure you apply, tick apply modifiers. I'm exporting out the. Um, z z um, STL file. I, I have assigned to a, a favorite, uh, so you can press Q to just quickly send it out. But you can have a look in file export options and choose STL there. So if I drag it into the Prusa slicer, 2.2. I think I need to upgrade that. It's a little bit, little bit out of date, but um, yeah, just go in and rotate it around on the Y axis so that the top is laying on the print bed and click slice and we can have a look and see how the um, how, how it would print and oh no we've got uh, some overhang perimeters check the blue uh, uh, key uh, on the top left to see what, what that what that means but basically you don't want to have overhang perimeters because it means you have to print supports and I don't like printing supports so I'm gonna hide hide uh, the rest of the model by um, going into edit mode, selecting H, um, uh, selecting faces and pressing H to hide it. And you can press Alt H to to get it back again. Um, I'll just hide the faces, grab the proportional editing uh, tool, which is the little dot, and uh, at the top of the screen, and then grab a couple of faces, and then use your mouse wheel. To just scroll up and down to um, uh, change the fall off of the brush and the, the amount that it's grabbing. Just, yeah, just create a nice pointy end and uh, export it out again. And let's drag it back into Prusa Slicer. And then if you right click, uh, you have to go back into edit mode, actually, on the left, bottom left. Right click on the file and reload from disk. And it doesn't look like anything's changed, but if you click slice again, let's go check out those overhang perimeters. <laughs> Much better. And that tiny little dot is not a problem in the slightest. You'll have no problems there. You definitely want to avoid overhang perimeters if you can, otherwise you're going to need to print support um, structures. I've got mine set to 0.15 millimeter, but you can go down to 0.05. This is just a, a, a test print, really, for me um, to see if I like the like the result. So yeah, it's ready to go. Load it onto a, an SD card and plug it into the printer. 
couple of button presses and it's all away we go it's printing nice and fast I thought I'd do a quick time lapse um, yeah that's it that's what you get I mean obviously uh, this is uh, being used as an egg cup holder um, and I'm only going to use it a, a few times I imagine it's probably not going to get a whole lot of use because it's not this is definitely not uh, food safe so um, you know you want to you want to be very careful about what you're printing to use with food because uh, bacteria gets into the into all the different layers um, and there are ways that you can um, help uh, prevent that um, but because it's just going to be used for, for eggs I'm not I'm not too worried about it um, I'll probably use it four or five times I guess clean it up see how it goes but um yeah, if it gets too dirty, I'll probably end up chucking it because uh, it's not the, uh, not the, not, it's not, it's definitely not food safe. So um, don't think about trying to print these and uh, sell them at the market or anything. <laughs> I guess it's not a good idea. <laughs> it's just a bit of fun for the kids, really. Um, but yeah, I just thought I'd show my process for how to export um, files from Blender and and print them out. Hope it was useful to somebody. Cheers. <laughs>